Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to react you to Casual Chuck and his own made video of SB19 being in Taiwan in Hit FM Core. I have seen this video float around and I just love how Casual Chuck is interpreting their videos and how he adds like pops of other sounds of Jeff's gifts and it's all just fun to see. So I want to see how he has done it again. And yeah, this is going to be probably a blast and an interview of like the most recent re-interview of them because I have heard quite a few new things about them so I would love to see and hear what they are gonna say about everything and what is going on so yeah I also want to say smash that subscribe button that notification bell and you can become a member of the channel if you want to support the channel and see your videos a day before anyone else and if you want your voice to be louder and more visible in the comments so yeah on that let's get right into the video Who's most likely to be late? One, two, three. Look at this dude. Hey Josh, hey, what's up? How's it going? All right. Ken is in the... Yeah, man. Okay, he's coming in. All right. Hey, let's go call you. Later. Ken's entrance be like this. See what I mean when casual Chuck does, like, he, he really... Elevate. I love that. Can I have a seat? Uh, Ken, the video, the live cast is going right now. So you can wait. Right it's on the YouTube. Right now? It's on YouTube yeah, yeah. right now. It's on live right now? Yeah, it's on right now. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, God. Hello, everyone. We are SB19. Hi, everyone. What's up, Stell? How's it going? Hi. Hey, Pablo. How's it going? Oh, we're really good. I'm really excited to roam around here in Taiwan. <laughs> hey, Justin, what's, what's up? What's up? Welcome to Taiwan. Yeah. To us. <laughs> hey, to us. Ken, say hello to everybody through the microphone. Taiwan natives. Hey, Josh, what's up? Hi, how only? Has anybody else besides Ken learned any Taiwanese at all? Any? Uh, xie xie. Xie xie. Okay, Only the basic, uh, the basic ones. All right. Ni hao. Huh? So welcome to Barbecue. Taipei on this very stormy night. How's yeah. it been? How's it been so far? Whoa. The flight. <laughs> the flight. Yeah. Let's start with the flight. There was this time when I think <laughs> when it, what it, we had the turbulence, like the sudden drop. Yeah. yeah. Then I I woke up and then suddenly I I think I saw Pablo. I think he was um praying. Oh. <laughs> See? Where did you guys go? Where were you guys so going? I, was like, I love oh, this video has been really elevated. Like, it would be just this interview, but this is. Who are the Mahalimas? I just a uh, fun experience. Ah! Now we are like a self managed group. So okay. we built our own company. Ooh. So we manage ourselves. We are very on hand. I mean, hands on. Hands on. Okay. Holding in a lot of um, creative output. Right everything does it get a little bit easier for you guys to come up with new stuff now like is it easier for you to to be like this is the sound that maybe Josh can take care of this is the part maybe still can you know rap to or like is it does it get easier to come up with new work now or I think when is it, was it, let me just break it down a little bit right, it, <laughs> can you tell us a little bit about your uh, new stuff coming in uh, coming out for uh, this summer well, right now we are planning some. <laughs> we can't Don't you dare to spoil it. Yeah, I have heard stuff. Our next uh, project? Shh. Okay, I need oh. to shut my mouth and okay. say something. A few minutes later. <gasps> okay. Alright. <laughs> uh, not, not, not allowed to. Much, yeah, but you guys definitely would like to do that. Yeah, but I understand that, especially right here. Read live chat. Feel that strong of a typhoon. But we would like to show you guys what what do you guys do? They know now. Typhoon. Typhoon. Oh no! Said help. Is there anything that you guys do like? 
something like a like a custom or something like a tradition. Justin's still know, like, oh no. Like Bring all the sofas upstairs. Oh, <laughs> really? Because yeah. it floods? Yeah. 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 Oh, really? Okay. Flood in the Philippines. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Buy a lot of food. To stop. Buy a lot of food. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, do you guys like buy a lot of like vegetables? Because no, we buy just canned goods. Canned goods. Canned goods. Yes. Yeah. Canned goods. Some people swim. <laughs> Some, people Some people swim. Some people swim. A lot of people in the Philippines. You know, uh, uh, when it's raining, yeah. we, they drink. Oh, they drink. Because <laughs> yeah. it's a break anyway, so they yeah. take a break, right? <laughs> I mean, they, <laughs> Just you know, it's like, no. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's I mean, if you want to drink, you always have to come up with an excuse for that, right? Yeah. So whatever. All right. Uh, the song that we're hearing right now, Mapa, this is really coming from the heart. This is something that really, it's really a moving song. Mm. Obviously, this song. It's a great song. Movies. Can somebody like introduce this song for us, for the, ta uh, for the Taiwanese uh, listeners? Mapa is basically about um, uh, being grateful and thankful to all the people who help us, mm. especially our parents. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm really Mama's boy. Oh. <laughs> uh, I guess it goes. I, I really love my family. And, um, you know, the feeling when you wake up, there's already food on the table. Pablo Zi also says he's a Mama's boy. He likes that. He's that. like. The whole Taiwan now knows that Pablo is a he's mama's like, boy. He's like, I'm regretting now, that why now. why does Pablo look like he's regretting that he revealed yeah. his mama's boy? <laughs> it's our soft spot. <laughs> yeah, it you is. Know? It is. Soft but, spot. Yeah, uh, up until now, whenever we have like concerts or special performances, yeah. whenever we see our families, we, and then singing MAPA. You can just check um, that there's their names on there. Um, <laughs> still cry. <laughs> oh, proud of them. I, that's what I was trying to ask. Like, I mean, like when you get to Mapa, when you get to this song, <laughs> do you like do anything to try to tell yourself, no, not right now, don't try yeah. yeah. You pinch yourself. <laughs> actually, oh actually, now you let them sing, they will cry. <laughs> <laughs> Can you give us a sample? <laughs> Immediately. Facial exercises. You s when you set your goal, regardless of what you hear regardless of what people do regardless of what, what the hell do living in his own world for a moment just for the camera the chaos never ends never <laughs> like what he is doing for the show as i understand it they're gonna put together like different bands yeah. together, different groups together. Mm -hmm. So probably the these are all like gonna be strangers from yeah. one another. So what was what what are some of the advice that you would tell these people? Um, one that you can do is like um, always remember that um, if you're in a group, you shouldn't compete with each other. No, oh. you should only <laughs> compete with yourself. So. A few inches later. <laughs> Justin, is there any like challenges that you see that whoa this this person, this group is doing oh, our challenge? Maybe one is um I think it was Sung Hun from N Hypen. Because um a lot of our mm. like staff in our company um they love N Hypen. So yeah. we're surprised oh this one is the one on um <laughs> This one is on <laughs> He's running out of like uh, English. I do want to ask another question about you guys going on. Obviously, <laughs> running out of English. <laughs> Low on supplies. Here in Taiwan, what was, what was it like the experience going out to first? Were you guys? Were that you was guys great. Those cast? performances were are great. Were you guys All blocked on my channel, by the way. Now, to me personally, if you saw them, they were up. Now they're blocked. Feel, like, um nervous when it comes to like performing right just like <laughs> i just have like fun yeah and just stage. enjoying it yeah. yeah just just enjoy it hungry stell the roasted eels these i love eels really do you want to try is it ready to eat yeah is it ready to eat <laughs> Having fun? I You're ready. So. But unfortunately, the video is about to end, guys. But before the video ends, let me leave you with a clip. And I think this is one of the reasons why I support Aspinin Team. With the success of Gento, does it give you like any pressure to come up with another challenge song, viral song? Or do you try to, when you guys try to make another song, the, the next song, you guys try to put it behind your mind, like in the back of your mind for that? Um, like there's pressure, but I don't think we, we function like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Whenever we like gather together to think about what music we're going to produce, it's just about what we want to do. Mm. It's always what we want to do, mm. what we want to release. It's not like 
what what's yeah. the trend right now? Yeah. What, what should we do? What yeah. should the trend? They right do what now? they should love. Something like this. Mm. Oh, an Afrobeat is blowing up. Yeah. We should do something like this. Uh, no, no, it's not. We like don't that. function like. That. You heard him, guys. You know what? Let me tell you something. I strongly believe that music is the closest thing that we have to a time machine. If Aspen and D just follow yeah. the trend, they can easily achieve that, right? But based on what Pablo said, they will not follow the trend. You know why? It's because they don't want to limit their music into a specific time period. They want to make music that is limitless. They want to make music that is timeless. Yeah, they just... They create whatever they want to create. And, and I think the best art happens when you do it because you want it to do it, because you enjoy it, because you love it, not because you're pressurized or something. It's because you are there for you, not for clout, for views, for whatever. It's for you and you enjoy it. And I would agree with Chuck there as well, because I am also in the same boat. Like, I love their just being them. They're so authentic. Like, even you could see in this in this interview, like, every little quirky thing or like mess up that happened there or intentional thing that happened there makes them them they're not these media trained puppets who are like you can say this you cannot say that you, of course there's like things that they probably shouldn't say as they did there but like it's such a small thing i think that they are in these little brackets in like majority of what they do they do whatever they want like take it or leave it and they love their honesty humility rawness and realness and everything and beyond to be honest of that and a hard work ethic is just through the roof what they are going through right now on all all over all these years so yeah again thank you so much Chuck, for spicing up this interview it is so much more fun that it would be without any inputs on it would be just an interview. I mean, it would probably would still be really informative, but with all the inputs and little funny things, it just elevates it. So thank you again. And what do you guys think of this interview and the upcoming things and everything that they said and the future that holds on their new projects and stuff that they cannot talk about yet? Um, yeah, let's support our SB19 and 18 is just spreading around the world, becoming stronger and stronger. So yeah, anyways, I'll stop you up around. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.